Hey guys, what's happening? Uh, just a quick update on progress so far. Um, so I've made a, bit, a little bit of progress. Uh, just because of the tight time frame that I'm on, I don't have the time to uh, film me actually doing a lot of the work, but I can assure you it's all 100% medieval, except for getting the air conditioner on the roof. That thing is fucking heavy um, and too much for me. I, I did try and film me getting up there on my own, but um, Given the awkwardness, the weight, the size, and the fact that the thing cost me two grand, I wasn't prepared to risk dropping it on the ground. But it is up there, so um, I'll show you that. There's a few other things that I've done in the last, or uh, well, yesterday and day before, that I haven't got on video yet. So um, I'll take you on a quick tour on some of the things that have happened since I last filmed. So the air conditioner unit, you can see, I think you can see. It's sunny. Let me take you around the other side. There we go. So there's the AC up on the roof. So it's a new Dometic air conditioning unit. Um, if I can find some specifications for that, I'll put them on the screen. The reason why I went for that one is because um, I was told that it's an inverter, it's the only inverter air conditioner on the market at the moment designed for caravans and RVs so um, it's obviously going to draw less power it's designed to draw less power from the research I've done apparently it will run on a 2 kVA generator so um, 
Uh, I think the generator that I've purchased, which is arriving today, as far as I know, is about five and a half kVA from memory. So uh, I shouldn't have an issue there. All right, some other details. Let's have a look what else we've got. So the water heater, the water heater is in. Um, that's an Atwood water heater installed there. It's got a door that comes up and looks like so. Um, it runs on both gas and 240 volt, which is one of the reasons why I chose it. The other reason why I chose it, it was the only one in the market that I could see that had um, this, this here. So um, that's an, an internal wall plate which will allow me to turn the unit off completely or you can choose your energy selection so you have uh, power or gas or you can turn them both on at the same time and heat the water up quicker. Uh, it has a holding capacity of 22.6 litres. Um, yeah, in terms of its instructions to uh, in install, it was fairly rudimentary to say the least. Um, there are a few things you had to figure out for yourself that it didn't mention for the, for example, that you actually had to bend these outer rails over to get them to sit flush. Um, I was also thought I would have expected that they would have come being it, that it's something that installs from on the outside of the bus, that it would come with a gasket seal rubber seal but it didn't um, so uh, and it does leak it rained last night we've got a little bit of water in there so I am going to be running around there with some silicon just to seal that all in um, I don't know if you saw the table before but this is just a drop down table that's uh, riveted to the bus also um, and I'm not sure if I filmed before but the battery hatch here I have got, I've put these luggage latches in each corner just to hold it tighter to the bus and there's a cam lock, a key barrel lock there for security. Um, now I'll show you on the inside of the bus. <coughs> okay so on the inside we've started the framing of the bathroom stall cubicle there, um, so you can see see that I did take out some of the uh, rib supports on the roof just to give me a little bit more headroom. I don't really think that's going to be an issue structurally. Haven't drilled holes in the floor yet for the drain or for the uh, the toilet. I think it's going to go at this end. Um, I also blacked out these windows just with black spray paint because you're not going to be able to see in through those windows anyway. So I'll actually lay insulation all the way up those windows. And I have actually put a little bit of insulation in. I started to do that. So it's all in that lower level. It goes all the way down both sides of the bus. And there's the water heater from the inside. So you can see how far that protrudes in there. You just need to build a box section underneath it to support the weight. 240 volt plug in there. And you can see that's the underside of the air conditioner unit. That's all sitting in there. I can't fit the under or the face plate from underside yet because I haven't got my internal sheeting in place for the ceiling. And I don't think I showed either before. This was the end result of modifying the uh, air conditioning box at the back, the evaporator box. So you can see this is where. I'd taken out a couple of the blower fans and I've sealed that up fairly well with um, a combination of products. I've got some expanding foam that I've pumped into this end and there's some silicon in there and then I over all the joints with aluminium tape just to make sure that's nicely sealed. Um, it's probably more sealed than it was to begin with and I think that was causing some of the moisture issues in the floor in the corners where the the drain pipes were. So that's where we're at at the moment. There's nothing else that's been done. I'm going to be continuing with internal framing this morning, today, and um, 
Yeah, so a bit of progress has been made. Um, so much more to do and uh, time definitely running out. So um, I'll do an up another update in a day or two. Cheers.